John the Apostle. Now there's a few things that you may not have known about John's early life. Like many of us, when John was a boy, he enjoyed fishing. But the difference being that John's dad actually had his own fishing business, and scholars tend to think that they were doing pretty well for themselves because John's dad had his own boat, he had his own hired servants, and John was helping him out and all that. Like father, like son. Now John's personality. John had a brother named James, and Jesus actually nicknamed them both Boanerges, meaning sons of thunder. So imagine thunder and thunder having babies. Those babies would be John and James. I know. That's pretty awesome. So example number one of Boanerges in action. There was a guy that was casting out demons in Jesus' name, and John, in his passion and zeal, told him to stop. Jesus rebuked John. Example number two. John and James, along with their mom, walked up to Jesus and asked if they could be the most powerful men in his coming kingdom. Could they be at his right and left hand? And Jesus rebuked them here as well. And example number three, and my favorite by far, Jesus, along with his disciples, walked to a city called Samaria, and they were rejected by them there. So John and James asked Jesus if he could call down fire on that city to destroy it for having rejected their message and their lodging there. Jesus rebuked them here as well. So John was passionate. He had faith. But he was still working on his compassion. Like many of us, John kept certain people to him closer than others, what one might call a best friend. And this is a guy we both know and we love, Peter. It was John that was with Peter and Jesus at the healing of Peter's mother-in-law. It was John, Peter, and James that were called the three pillars of the early church. It was Peter and John that followed Christ at his crucifixion. It was John and Peter that ran to the tomb when they found out it was empty for Mary. And it was John and Peter that, in the book of Acts, preached throughout all of Samaria the gospel of the kingdom. Now, one of the most important parts of John's story is his relationship to Jesus, and that's that he was especially close. It was John that was one of the three with Jesus when he raised a girl from the dead, when he saw Moses and Elijah, the transfiguration, and when Jesus cried tears of blood in the Garden of Gethsemane. It was John and Peter that were sent to prepare the Last Supper right before Jesus' crucifixion, and John was actually leaning on Jesus at that supper. On the way to the crucifixion, it was to John that Jesus entrusted his own mother, who we know as Mary, on his way to his death. So John's early life, he was a fisherman along with his father. His personality, he was passionate, he had faith, was working on his compassion. One of his best friends was Peter. And John was especially close to Jesus. So there you have it. That's John the Apostle.